And we begin with that fight to see the interaction between Gastonia police and a homeless veteran. A media coalition led by WCNC Charlotte is petitioning a judge to release body camera video showing last month's arrest of Joshua Rohrer on accusations of panhandling and resisting arrest. Do you recall that his service dog, Sunshine, ran away after this incident and died days later after being hit by a car. The arrest led to protests and criticism aimed at the department. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner explains why we are fighting to have the video released. Army veteran Joshua Rohr has two priorities. First, training his new service dog. But she's been amazing. She's a great dog, very attentive and smart. Her name, Justice Ray. Because we hope to get justice for what happened to Sunshine. That's his second priority, and it's why he's at the Gaston County Courthouse. A media coalition led by WCNC Charlotte is petitioning a judge to release all body camera videos of Joshua Rohr's October arrest on charges of panhandling and resisting arrest. It takes 20 police officers to arrest a homeless man. And they taste his dog. Four witnesses we spoke to accused the two officers who arrested Roar of unnecessarily escalating the situation and roughing up Roar while placing him in handcuffs. The petition says District Attorney Travis Page indicates he will oppose the video's release until after Roar's trial. WCNC's attorney argues given the attention and protests following Roar's arrest, there's a compelling public interest in releasing the videos. The petition says releasing the recordings will not jeopardize Roar's right to a fair trial. In fact, Roar and his attorney support the petition. But I think it's crucial to let everyone see the travesty that was committed that day. Gastonia police released a statement in late October saying they understood the emotional impact of this case and will continue reviewing the actions of all officers involved. Roar says it takes two to three years to train a service dog. Which is right where Sunshine Ray was. Um, she would be turning three on January the 14th. So I've got a long road ahead of me. Both for training and possibly obtaining justice. The judge is expected to make a decision later this week at the Gaston County Courthouse, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. And an important note about this case and the law in North Carolina regarding body cam footage. The current law requires a court order before law enforcement can release body camera footage. And in North Carolina, body camera footage is not considered public record. It could only be released to the public if the family or another party in the case goes to a judge and convinces them to release it. That law was signed in 2016 by then Governor Pat McCrory.